What's up YouTube? It is me, Eternal Neptune, back with another build for you today on NBA 2K25. This build I'm bringing you might be my favorite build so far in 2K25. I cannot wait to get in, show you what we have, tell you what I put my, my plus one badge increase on, talk to you a little bit about the cap breakers, where I might put them, and show you guys a build that I think can, you can play any mode in and have a really good time. So let's jump right into this. All right, for this build, we're gonna be making a big man, but we're not gonna be making a center for this one. We're actually gonna go power forward. We're gonna raise our height up to seven foot, and we're gonna lower our weight down to 225. Now I know the meta, right? Everybody, oh my gosh, you need the strength, you need the, the rebounding. Sure, absolutely. If you want to play, you know, the standard twos, maybe threes, right? The, if everyone out here is trying to be comp, go be comp. I'm trying to have a good time playing this game, and that's what this build does. So we're going to lower our wingspan down to a seven foot, and I'm going to show you guys a couple things that we have done. So first, we're going to focus on the finishing. All right, for this build, we are going to have a 92 close shot. We're only gonna have a 40 driving layup. Our driving dunk is going to be a 60. You might think that's a little bit low, but I get a lot of driving dunks on this build. It's kind of crazy how easy it is to dunk, even with a 60. Standing dunk, we're gonna have up to a 90 overall, along with the same thing with post control. Now this isn't a post control build. You're not in this trying to back down and do a hook shot and all this crazy stuff. The post control, the close shot, and the standing dunk all go hand in hand along with this one right here, which is your mid-range shot up to a 94. This gives you post fade phenom on legend, set shot specialist on hall of fame. We're gonna raise our three point shot up to an 86. And the free throw doesn't really matter because I. I I mean, even in rec, I'm still able to make free throws. So, so far, we've got good shooting badges. We've got good finishing badges. And when I talk about my plus one to a badge, I actually put set shot specialist on legend. So with post fade phenom and set shot specialist on legend, I'm green in almost every shot that I take. It's crazy. All right, now, how do you be effective in threes and rec, well, this right here, 89 pass accuracy. Your break starter is gold, your dimer is gold. That dimer being gold as a big guy is way more effective than I ever thought it would be. It's crazy the amount of grace that it gives to those guards who leak out, having that gold dimer not having to come from one of the guards. It's amazing. You can even, if you don't want to have set shot specialists on Legend, put your dimer up to Hall of Fame and you will effectively manage your entire team that way. They'll want you to have the ball so you can pass it to them. All right, ball handle, we're going to keep down to a 55. And our speed of the ball, we're going to have it a 60. Now, the speed of the ball is a 60. You're not having a badges, but it's actually pretty fun when you're playing against other big guys, especially seven footers and above. You can get around them way easier than I thought you'd be able to because usually their agility is down in the 50s maybe even in the 40s if they're big enough so you can get around them and that's when that 60 driving dunk comes into play okay now for interior defense we are not a super super big build when it comes to strength and interior defense but we do put it up to an 82 we have our perimeter defense up to a 65 this is sneaky People are not ready for it, and it's pretty amazing how much you can bump even guards on the outside. If you're trying to switch on to them and play lockdown, I mean, you're going to get destroyed. That's just how it is. But if you're able to go out, hedge, bump them a little bit, it's easy. And those big guys that try to over dribble and show off their 75 overall ball handle and do all these moves, you're bumping into them and you're knocking them around. They're, they're not able to destroy you. 
All right, we put our steel up to a 60, get that bronze interceptor. Having a seven foot wingspan helps a lot when it comes to that. And last but not least in our defense, we're actually gonna put our block up to an 84. This gives our paint patroller on silver. Even though I only have a seven foot wingspan, I still get quite a few blocks on this build. All right, you're looking to play twos. This may not be the build because we only have a 60 offensive rebound and then we have an 85 defensive rebound. Now, if you want to switch it out, lower your defensive rebound a little bit, up your offensive rebound, I completely get it, but I wanted the rebound chaser. Okay, that's what I, I wanted the rebound chaser. I wanted to be effective with it, and I did the defensive rebounds. I will say the offensive rebounds, sometimes you, you do get sc screwed over a little bit with the animations, but it's a small price to pay. All right, so speed, 74. Agility, 64. Strength, might might be a little bit sneaky here. 86 strength, even on this build. You got your post powerhouse, which helps back down a lot of players. And then we will put our vertical up to a 74. And somewhere in here, we got a little mixed up. So let's go through and double check, which would be right here boom 74 and you will see what that does is it gives you the high flying denier on silver helps with those blocks as well this is it this is my build that i enjoy more than any other build that i've done so far i have a lockdown i have an inside center that has post control you know i, I tried the, i tried to do the, the the post score i have multiple guards anywhere from 6'2 to 6'4. I even kind of flirting a little bit with a 6'8 build, trying to mess around with it. Uh, and I will say overall, this is the most fun that I've had with any build. When it comes down to it, this mid-range shot with the post-fade Phenom has been incredibly effective for being able to score any time that I want to. I can post-fade, I can do an in and out, you know, move if they're trying to jump at the post fade. I can shoot threes, crazy. I mean, look, I even have bronze limitless range. I could put it up to silver if I want the plus one on it. This build is crazy. Now I wanna go over here and I wanna take a look at the takeovers, okay? One of the ways that this build is so effective is the takeovers, okay? Now I know this year the takeovers don't feel like they make it crazy. Like you don't go like way above where you've already been. But with this, I, I do see a difference, okay? The two that I like a lot is barbecue chicken, right? If you really wanna do your post control and strength, this can get you in good positions for those post fades, whether you know, you're doing a fade away, you're doing a hop step post fade, um, even if you're wanting to do a drop step, this helps a lot. And the, uh, the other one that I really like, let me see where it is. Um, I think it's this one right here. Yeah, make it rain. I like to throw this one on, especially when I'm in the wreck. I'll throw on make it rain. My shots go up, but also my speed goes up. If you can get to level five, which I actually do a lot on this build, you have an 81 speed on a seven foot power forward. It's actually kind of crazy. And you can get your mid range shot up to a 99 and your three point shot up to a 93. If you can't green with that, maybe you shouldn't be playing the game. So this build, you are compared to Tim Duncan, the greatest power forward in the history of the NBA, Bobby Portis Jr., Cat, who's now actually on the Knicks, and this is a two-way diming three-level scorer. You know, I have to tell you, this build means nothing without a jump shot, and I have broken the jump shot creator for jump shot with this player stay tuned that video is dropping really soon if you like the video guys make sure that you give a thumbs up turn on notifications subscribe to the channel we have a ton more content coming we're dropping it as we can we are in the process of moving so the videos are going to be a little bit delayed until we can get settled 
but expect a lot more guys. I've have a ton of builds to show you, a ton of jump shots, even some dribble moves, signature, you know, moves that we have that we want to show off to, to the community. Stay tuned guys, and we'll see you next time.